the Trevor Jackson Podcast. So on this episode of the Trevor Jackson Podcast, episode 31, I got the CBR boys. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Just released the album Growth. You know what I'm saying? It's doing big numbers. He done released multiple singles off of the album. What was the first single off of the album? What? History featuring Trey Fine. Okay, so that video, you know what I'm saying? He put a video up, a history featuring Trey, Trey Fine, and it's doing numbers on YouTube. It's doing numbers on Apple, Spotify, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And uh, tell the folks, like, you know what I'm saying, what what the numbers looking like and the amount of time you done had it up on uh, the Internet. Uh, it's doing pretty good. I got 10,000 streams, and um, I just appreciate everybody for showing love to it. You know what I'm saying? I work hard for it, man. That's really it, man. Cold blooded. <laughs> hey, cold blooded. <laughs> yeah. So, Watt got the history. You know what I'm saying? He done put out multiple videos, though. He got another video with the homie. You know what I'm saying? What's the homie name? Frosty. You know what I'm saying? Frosty killing him. Frosty just released a project himself. I forgot the name of the project. Yeah, he released High. That was a hot a hot thing, you know what I'm saying? And so they just released a video also to the song. You know what I mean? And you can go check that out also on YouTube. And check out the new content. He released a single also called Hate. And it's streaming on all platforms. And he continuously working. And Cold Blood are just on the rise. And we got Jack just released the album. Yes, Jack, boy, the money talking. Talk to us about the money talking, cuz, and the singles that's on the money talk. You know, cold blooded president, right? Here. You hear me? Uh, money talking dropped uh, what, August, and uh, you hear me? It's money talking. We talking about money. That's what I'm talking about. You hear me? Get into the money, man. That's what we do. So I, I can't say nothing else but get to the money, man. If you ain't getting to the money, then what you doing? You hear me? So. Cold blooded boys, you know what I mean. Walk, Snake the Great, Jack boy, you know what I mean. We out here representing uh, for the eight six five Knoxville. You hear me? We putting on, and uh, yeah, hot letters, man. Fuck with us. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. So like, we've been doing this thing for a while. I've been in the game creating content for close to twenty years now, and you know what I mean. Uh. We just creating music to see somebody get on in the game in the K because it ain't too many artists that's making moves and making maneuvers or whatever the way we trying to do it. We trying to do it clean. We trying to make millions out the music. And uh, I just want to know, like, how long you been in the game walking? How long you been creating content and making songs and how you started and who you started with? Uh, I kind of like get in my mode. And just write, man, whatever I'm feeling. If I write too much, then I just get some fresh air and just walk outside or go to work or whatever to uh, clear my mind and, you know, think about what my next hit going to be. And I try to do it, like, consistently. Every time I think about writing a song, I try to make sure it's the best song I ever wrote. And sometimes people give me the best feedback from it, and I just really appreciate it. Um, My debut album... I don't know, but it just, I was in a dark place when I wrote this, so, and now I'm, I'm dark place, what you mean when you say dark place, bro? Uh, well, I, I was with somebody for quite a while, I thought she was the one, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, it is what it is, you feel me, so, and, uh, you know, just, now I'm, now I'm on my own, you know what I'm saying, staying ten toes by myself, doing, doing better, you know what I'm saying, but shout out to her, you know what I'm saying, no love lost, it's all good. I mean, it's easy. <laughs> hey, let, me, let me ask you a question about the song Envy, though. Like, what was the treatment and what was the thought process about creating the Envy video? Uh, Basically just showing that if you, like, ain't no envious over here. We're just chilling with the fam, you know what I'm saying? That's what the video concept was wanting to be like. Like, ain't no hate, you know what I'm saying? No reason for y'all to be envious towards us. I'm saying no hatred. We just all get money, man. Y'all get y'all some money too. Everybody got the same 24 hours. Just gotta use them how you use them. <laughs> you feel me? 
So, Jay, on the Money Talking record, you got a few records on there that I like a, a, a lot. And I want to know which one is the one that you rocking with the most. Me, I got to say that the Shoulda Known, the Money Talking, the Depending, and then it's another one, uh, Destiny. They're my joints. But it ain't about me, though. Tell me the ones you rocking with the most. Hey, to be honest, cuz yeah. you laid it out there for the people. I mean, honestly, you said "Dependent." That's one of my favorite songs that I felt like was that flew kind of under the radar. You hear me? Yeah. And uh, it was a banger, and it may not got looked at like that, but that was a cut. You know, what I mean, that was super family based. It was, it was, it, it talked about a lot, man, in my life. You feel, you feel me? What I got going on? But uh, "Destiny" definitely was like one of my top songs that I really. Uh, try to hang a lot on, man, because I, I I put a lot into that one, and I, I you know that was one of my that was one of my tops, and I, and I to this day I feel like uh, Destiny to me is my my favorite song, you know what I mean I, it's a lot of bangers. Should have known is a banger, uh, flawless the the intro is a banger, money talking a banger. I mean I can go the the whole album is a banger, man, you know what I mean, but Destiny to me was a was 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 stupid to me. I, I felt like I put a lot into that, and I I thought a lot about that song, and and I didn't, and not necessarily thought about, but it just came naturally, and I spit that, and it was like the way I laid it out, mapped it out. It was it was perfect, you know what I mean? Speaking on life, speaking on family, you know what I mean? And that's and that was my cut, man. So you know what I mean? Destiny definitely is a top is a top song, man, for me. So we're gonna make a segment called the show love segment and we're gonna show love to an artist other than us from the 865 and uh i'm gonna show love to an artist in the 865 that i like i want y'all to tell me one that y'all rocking with this from the 865 that y'all rock with and if i had to say an artist in the 865 that i'm rocking with i say jay hustler that's my name, Jay Hustler. I gotta show him some love. So, y'all say the artist y'all rocking. For me, and to be honest, you just said it to me because I, I mean I ain't I don't rock with some folks out the A65. You know what I mean? Uh, the amazing tracks with people out the A65. Jay Hustler is, is a guy that I done made a cut with at the A65. You know what I mean? Me and my homeboy Touch. Uh, shout out my boy Touch, man. Uh, me and uh, Touch did a song with Jay Hustler. And it was a banger to me, and, and you know it's going. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pump, I'm gonna put it out, man. We ain't never release it, but it's it's a banger, and I'm gonna put it out. I, I'll rock with Jay Hustler. Uh, so what? Who you got, what? Hey, uh, I was gonna say, man, it's it's hard when it ain't CBR, but uh, let me see. I, I like uh, Young TL, man. He. He, he, his album was really, you know, he probably don't even know that I know him, but shout out to Young TL, man. Um, anybody else? I mean, like, you know, the Frosty and 420, everybody else I don't work with before, but for like the actual guy, it's, I think Young TL, he had the best project coming out of Knoxville, like one of the best. I ain't gonna say the best, one of the best. And he brought it. He brought it. Now he, now he trying to get signed to QC, man. I see you, man. Mm -hmm. And we salute everybody. Ain't no hate. You know what I'm saying? If we didn't say your name, we know it's a lot of talented people. And for everybody to pop and the city to pop, at the end of the day, everybody got to come together. And that's what it's going to take. And uh, so if it was one producer y'all could work with on your next project, and to do and him to produce the whole project, who would it be? Mm. One of me first. Wow, you got you got anybody right off top? I'm talking about Dr. Dre, Timlin. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Teddy Riley. Uh, what's the dude that like booties and stuff that produce all Michael Jackson songs? Quincy Jones. You know he like booty, male booty. So uh, at the end of the day, <laughs> talk about anybody in the world. Anybody in the world. Damn. 
If I could have any producer in the world to produce a whole album for your boy Jack, who would I get? I mean, I, I, it's a few. I can name a couple right off the top. I can, I can get, I, I can get link up with my boy Ziggy. Fucking with Zay Tobin. Um, what's my dude? Um, ah. Produce a lot of tracks for uh uh baby. Oh um, um I can't even call his name right now. The baby. Nah, not the baby. Fuck the, the baby. Fuck <laughs> fuck the baby. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Man. I'm sorry, oh, but I, I I ain't I ain't too much rocking with the baby. Uh little baby. Out of A, out the A, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know these niggas like that. I can't even call it, but he he got some he got some tracks so hard, man. Uh, damn, what's my man's name? He ain't hot. You don't know his name. Nah, he no hot. He hot. He hot. He hot. He nah, he 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 smoking. He smoking, man. I can't call it though, but he smoking because I mean he don't he don't rock with a few people though. So you saying? Oh, let me back up. So you saying Tuck Producer? That's who you rocking with? Over. Okay, you, over anybody in the world, yeah, talk yeah, produced. Yeah. Uh, nah, nah, I late you, my dog. But let me see. I, I, this may be shocking, but I think Pharrell William. Okay. Oh, no, like he, he, his beats always Kanye though. Nah, Kanye. It ain't coming out for five years. And it's five, three times. Yeah. See, I don't know, man. Hey, they're my guys though, that's, man. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm rocking with. I'm rocking with DJ Toont. I'm, I'm rocking with Toont for a whole album. I guarantee it's going to smash. Yeah. <laughs> if I can link up with him, get in a yo, like, you know, those boys in the trail, all that, you know what I mean? DJ Toont, I'm rocking with Toont, man. Okay. That's who I'm rocking with, Toont. Now, I know us three on this panel, I know us all personally. And at the end of the day, we kind of like more mature artists, more quality, more, you know what I'm saying? like high quality music and and by us liking that we like more probably kind of older artists like 25 and up but i'm gonna throw a wrench in the in the game but he still like what might be young but he like the good music though i can tell by the type of music he make so at the end of the day if y'all had to work with an artist that's 25 and under who would it be 25 and under i'm gonna give it Oh, I don't know how old he is though. I know Mel- YNW Melly. I know he 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 about twenty, but in jail. <laughs> okay, Rod Wave. That's my that's my guy. Rod, I think we will make a smash. God, I think we will make a smash. Yeah, hey, how at me? Twenty five and under, Jake. Twenty five and under. 25 and under. I I thank you 25 and under. But I'm I'm going to go out on a limb. And I'm going to say Takashi 69. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you going to say, go. Takashi. Man, I'm going to go to sleep off it. <laughs> nah. No, nah, I'm rocking with my guy out of uh out of, out of Chicago. Uh, G Herbo. No sir. Nah, I like G Herbo. I like G Herbo. I'm I I do something with my boy. Hey, Paulo G. I like Paulo G. But Chance, man. I like. I'm, I'm a rock with Chance. What is A do? Chance. Hold on. Chance the rapper. I'm, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be lit. I'm gonna put Chance on something, and it's gonna be hard. I like his, I like his vibe. I like his energy. I like what he talking about, man. Yeah, he stand for something. Happy. He stand for something though. Yeah. A lot of these niggas out here rapping, man, they don't, they don't speak about nothing. In yeah. my personal opinion, you know yeah. what I mean. So that's why I'm rocking okay. with Chance. I like Chance. He he fly under the radar, and he 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 spit, and it be on some real shit. You hear me? So I know somebody that's looking at the. Rock what twenty one and under? Twenty five and under. Twenty five and under. Yeah, who you rocking with? Uh, 
I do a song with uh with Russ. No, uh what's the boy that had the send it to send in the box and then the send in the box and then the send in the box. Roddy Rich. Yeah, yeah, Roddy Rich. Yeah, I rock with Roddy Rich. I rock with Roddy Rich. I can't even talk right now. I said right Waddy Rich. Waddy. Yeah. <laughs> I rock with Roddy uh, Rich or NBA Young Boy. I like NBA Young Boy. He retarded. I need some retarded music sometimes. And now I know somebody over here looking at the live in the podcast might got a question for us. We got our family on deck. You got a question for us? Family. Think of one. We got we got young we got a young Jackson. Young Jackson by the name of Darius. You ain't got no question for her. Oh, man. See, your bridge is too tight. Your brain clogged up. Yeah. Yeah. NBA young boy got a couple. He got a, he got a couple songs. You hear me? But he, he just be on some. He be on some of that st- stupid young shit. You hear me? Like, like, I ain't. I'm 34 years old. You hear me? I'm on some other. I'm on some other type. You hear me, man? But but I like his vibe. He got a good vibe and all of that. You hear me? But I ain't I ain't too much rocking with that guy, man. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna end the live off here in a few. And I got one more question I want to ask both of these talented young men. We know Jack Boy got the Money Talking album out. He got plenty of hits on there. We want to know what's next for Jack Boy. Easy got the growth album out. He got plenty of hits on there also. We want to know what's next for Easy. So tell us what's coming soon. For Jack Boy, you hear me? Uh, we I'm I'm just working, man. You hear me? I got uh tracks on deck, you know, just waiting to be released. Um uh, big shout out to uh Snake, you hear me, uh rocking with us. Great visuals, great uh, covers for us. So you know, I, I'm I'm pretty much just waiting to uh, grab a couple visuals and and release some uh you know what I mean to to release some more content. But you know, today we went in. You know what I mean. Uh, shout out to Maya Sound Layer. We went in at the you know what I mean at the Sound Layer. You know what I mean. Uh, drop some hot shit coming, man. So y'all y'all be on the lookout for that. Uh, be on the lookout for that Jack and Snake too. I'm I'm trying to tell you, once we link up and we and we do that, it's it's gonna be ugly. Uh, cold blooded boys, you hear me? But Jack, next project, uh, Jack, it, 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 Jack project, you hear me? That's, that's what it's gonna be, the Jack project. Um, uh, gotta bring that through. You know what I mean? Got plenty hits, man. Uh, been recording for the for a while. You know what I mean? So I got plenty content uh to release to the people that's still relevant. You hear me? So uh and then we're gonna stack some on top of that to uh add to it. But uh what what you got what you got rocking? What you got coming through, man? You got anything for the people? Uh yeah, I got a um another album dropping. I ain't gonna tell y'all when it's gonna drop, I'm just gonna drop it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't gonna I ain't gonna promote this one. The first one was my debut, so I I just why to promote that one. But this next one is gonna be called a rebirth, because I feel like I'm I'm grown now, you know what I'm saying? I I done got all the stress and, you know, dark side of me out of me. So, hope y'all enjoy this next one, man. It's going to be fun music, you know what I'm saying? Something you can ride to, vibe to, get high to, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. What they smoke? Y'all better not be smoking no Bama. Bama. <laughs> smoking. <laughs> <laughs> said me you know what i'm saying you got hey, hey. Get thrags so loud you need a your lung need a hearing aid you know what I'm <laughs> hey you know what i'm saying but but yeah at the end of the day man i just got some stuff coming man cold-blooded you know what i'm saying you gotta get a flowers to these young men right here man they they showed me the way they you know what i'm saying they gave me the torch basically like hey you can do it too you know what i'm saying hopefully one day little Neff can do it but if he you know what i'm saying it's up to him shoot but yeah man salute to the family though man whole bloody man so that was episode 31 of the trevor jackson podcast and i hope y'all enjoyed man we telling y'all what we got coming 
Jack told you he got another project coming. He working. He just working. He grinding and shining at the same time. Walk gave y'all the title to his new album, boy. Hey. He gave y'all the title to his new album. Y'all got to check it out and go back and listen to all the hits that he got. You know what I'm saying? Already made. And I'm going to make a little announcement before we head off. I got an album coming out called Legendary. Tune in. We out. CBR.